Hello and welcome and a real privilege to be broadcasting from one of the world's great football cities. We're here in Madrid at the Metropolitano. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action accompanied by my broadcasting partner Stuart Robson. And without doubt a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Spain against Brazil. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Here's the lineup for Spain. Carvajal starts with Jordi Alba in the fullback positions. Coque starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And Morata is the main striker for this match. The starting 11 for Brazil. Ederson stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Vinicius Jr. starts with Rodrigo out wide. And the striker is Richarlison. And the match is underway. Morata and a no-nonsense clearance well that's one for them to pursue Laporte with a block was an important piece of defending well he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent so what should we expect to see from him in this game Stuart well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Could go ahead. In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Carvajal, Koke, and that will be a Brazil ball. Marquinhos. Are there to intercept. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it.
Sergio Busquets. Oyar Sabal. Now Jordi Alba. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. No potential danger. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Now Brazil could be onto something. Cutting infield here. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Paid to be. Now Busquets. Ferran Torres. Torres. Sergio Busquets. A creative look about this. It has to be. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Koke tasked with taking it. Another corner. And over it comes. And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Vinicius Junior Casemiro Will he play it in? But a crucial intervention inside the box Oyar Sabal Well he's given us away Getting the better of his opponent Richarlison! Oh, he's found the net! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Not a huge chunk of added time, one minute. And so it is, the first half has come to an end here in the Spanish capital. I think we know, don't we, that Oyar Zabal has a lot more to give than he's showing here. Yeah, he's struggled to get on the ball in dangerous areas. You can argue the service hasn't been good enough, but I don't think his movement has been dynamic as it normally is. He certainly needs to improve here. So back in business here, and no two ways about it. It was an eye-catching first-half performance from Brazil. Are they capable of matching that in the second half? And given away. And he read it well. Plenty of support here. 
Neymar. And the ball back with Spain now. Jordi Alba. Tremendous challenge. Vinicius Junior. Fred with it. Fred. Promising attack, this. Neymar. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Playing it in. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Could play it in. Well, not a great ball played in. And they do like to press whenever they can. Could be a chance to break here. In position. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. And the ball is rolling again. Brazil really starting to accelerate away here. Jordi Alba. Now Busquets. Pedri. Koke. Koke. A very good tackle. Really nice ball. He's in behind. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Koke. Now can they counter clinically? Dangerous ball. Well, too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Ten minutes left for play. Well, they have it again. Well, the final whistle approaching, and this has certainly been an away day to remember. Stuart, your assessment? Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Fred? Chances on. Oh, that's a fine save. Pau Torres. Now Busquets. Really good challenge. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And full time, Brazil have prevailed. That's the big story here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. So much to admire about the performance put in by Gabriel Jesus. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.